Tank fly, boss walk, jam nitty gritty. You're listening to the GIV from the German city. I am jam hot. Welcome back to beautiful Hollywood Boulevard. The last five days I spent so much time here in Hollywood, I should actually change my name from German in Venice to German in Hollywood. Nah, that's not gonna happen. We are here because the Acton model, Norman Reedus, is gonna get a star on the Walk of Fame today. It's still covered up right now. You can see it right here. It's hard to get a good look today because they did not close off the street, but it's going to be happening right over here in front of the world famous Hollywood Toys and Costumes store. Girls came in gear right here. Thank you. Another one. Did you know that Norman Reedus was born in Hollywood? Not Hollywood, California. Hollywood, Florida. And you know what building that is behind me? This is where Richard Gere climbed up to save Vivian and Pretty Woman. Yeah, it's right here. I see you over there. Yes, you. Come on over and let Zoltar be sharing with you your fortune. I'm already here, Zoltar. I just want to let you know, three weeks ago I did a video about the Harley Davidson store in Venice called Bartel. Did you know that he worked there when he first came to California? Two fact. What's my fortune? Let me know. Anything good? He was discovered in one of those little pops right here in Hollywood. And he was dancing and singing and somebody approached him and asked him if he wants to be an actor and maybe a model. And I always thought the same thing. If I walk around, I always thought somebody's going to discover me and ask me if I want to be an actor or model. When you come from Germany, you don't really know how it works here. You know, you just think it's that easy. You just walk around and people talk to you and next minute you're in the movie but uh from what i know is you have to know people right here in the business to become an actor everybody knows him from the horror drama series the walking dead i think it's in his 10th season and i think the new season starts soon in the show he plays daryl dixon he tries to survive in an apocalyptic world trying to fight zombies all the time and I can't believe he had the best job in the world and he took his own life. Sometimes I'm thinking people reach their goals, they have a good life and something is wrong and he took his own life. I just wonder why. They got some really nice murals here in Hollywood. I don't think he was a model for Celine, but I know for sure he was a model for Prada. Wow, look, there's the Hollywood sign. Do you know somebody who touched the Hollywood sign or maybe painted a little bit of the age? I know somebody. I remember Norman Best when he played in 1999 in the crime thriller Boondock Saints when he played Murphy McManus. In 2009, they did the sequel. Those are the two twin brothers from Boston. They're eliminating the Russian mafia. That was a really good movie. I really liked the movie. You know what's behind me here? Those are the stairs up to the Dolby Theater when the Oscar celebration happens. This is where the red carpet normally is. Just to let you know, you've seen it before. I can't believe that was 23 years ago. Remember when they eliminated the Russians? They always placed like a penny on their eye and their head on their hands. Aquitas Veritas tattooed. Yeah, I remember. That's a good movie. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. And look at this, this is food delivery. Nobody's with this card here. You can order some food and they deliver it to you. Crazy, huh? And if you want your name on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, 
This is the opportunity right here. If you come here, ask for Shane, all right? Tell him the German inventor sent you, he's gonna give you a discount. And whatever genre you wanna be in, he's gonna put it on there for you. I wonder which celebrities are gonna be here today. That is the podium where he's gonna stand on. Two of us are getting ready to show you all the homes of the celebrities. And this is Greg Nicotera, producer, director, and special effect makeup artist for The Walking Dead. He's got one right here. You want to get that one here? Gary, what's up, man? Take a picture on the red carpet. I actually saw him recently at the Hollywood Horror Night at the Universal Studios. Here we got the first zombie. <laughs> like the only one. I thought there'd be more zombies here. <laughs> I should just start like walking back and forth, just like strutting, just slagging. Shirt on right here, look, no. it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Is this okay if I put this on YouTube? Oh, yeah, here you go. Is that yeah. okay to put you on YouTube? Yeah. All right, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, you are the main show. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. That you are the Rick. Yeah. You are Rick. Let's go, Daria. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, hi. Like of course, yeah, can you come around here? <laughs> we got him. Yeah. That definitely made his day, huh? Uh, all right, we got him. Oh, Norman, can she have a picture? Norman, 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 Norman,
Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. There we go. Look at this. He got the signature. Lucky guy. Thank you, man. This is his co-host from The Walking Dead, John Bantal. I love you! You have his book signs, you got the Funky Puppets. Can I see the picture too? Yeah. And she got a selfie with him, look at this. Yeah. All right, only in Hollywood. Look, even the zombie got a picture with him. All right, nice. I think that's his beautiful wife, Diane Krieger. I must say he's the nicest guy I've seen so far. I've been to many of those uh, Hollywood star celebrations, but he's been the nicest guy I've seen so far. He's talking to people, he's taking pictures. Absolutely awesome. What a lot of people don't know, he's a professional photographer as well. And he has a book out with his photography. Pretty awesome. And before the show starts, I think he has to go to the restroom inside the store. He's greeting the chairman of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. And the one waving is Norman's assistant. Guys, you can't stop here. Sidewalk. Head into a car door, uh, not on purpose, of course. Um, but, you know, that's what friends are for. So I've been honored to be in the trenches with Norman for the last 12 years. And when you work together, you get the phone calls at the end of the day. What a great day. What did you think of this? Was that really fun? I mean, it's all insights into who Norman is. Um, if I could tell you the number of Photoshop designs I have for different hairstyles for Daryl, it would fill five computers. Uh, <clears throat> he's been described by the likes of Guillermo del Toro, John Carpenter, and Frank Darabont as thoughtful, intuitive, and instinctual. And that's not descriptions of his work ethic, that's descriptions of who he is as a person. He would take the shirt off his back, he's the kind of guy who will roll up his sleeves and dig in and fight for uh, what he believes. He infuses his characters with these traits, um, and on top of all the other things, he's also a restaurateur, because we have a restaurant together that we literally came up with the idea because we thought after working really hard we wanted a place so we could have a beer and enjoy each other's company and the company of our friends. So there's a lot of pluses and minuses to being Norman's friend. The plus is you're Norman's friend. The minus is I have a truckload of stuff that people have given me saying, can you please give this to Norman? Because I really, he would love it. And I try to do that, but he has unflinchingly loyal fans. A lot of them that are over there, a lot of them that are over there. And those fans are what keeps The Walking Dead alive, and it keeps us here. So thank you for that, and it's, it's my honor. It's my honor to be here uh, and, uh, and help unveil Norman Starr. So thank you. I decided not to put the whole speech on here. It would be probably a little bit too long. I just wanted to show you what's going on before and after. It was a great day. If you want to see the whole speech, just go to YouTube, type it in, and you will find it. And there he is in Boondock Saints, Aquitas Veritas. And here are the people that are trying to get the autograph when they come back. This limousine is right here. And right over here. 
look, he even got the script from the Boondog Saints. Nice. Autograph Hunters. <laughs> look at this, he got a German ID bag with all the pictures of Norman in there. Across the right side. Wow, he's going over the street now. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ooh, here comes his wife. She's probably going to sign some signatures too. Yep, like I said. Inside, inside and outside. Awesome, dude. Good day. And look at those two ladies are from England. They came yeah. all the way from England and they got a picture with them. We that, are. That made your day, huh? Oh, it made my year. <laughs> he's very kind. Really he nice. is. Yeah. He's really cool coming oh over, God. taking pictures. That was absolutely. <laughs> I've seen many uh, celebrities just arriving, mm -hmm. coming and going, but this guy really took the time. Yeah. To go out of his way to take pictures with the fans. That's great. He is amazing. All right. Yeah. Have a good time in Hollywood. Thank you. And then 20 minutes later, business is back to normal. That was on September 27, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. And that's his star. Welcome to Hollywood. What's your dream? Uh, well, my friends, that was it. Live here from the Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and push the notification bell. And I see you in my next video. This was fantastic. The vlog was fantastic. I see you later. Hooray for Hollywood. Tschüssing. <laughs>